me is this is home, my like family, or, or that's all. Like you know, that's all I think about when I think about Miami. I didn't even know what South Beach was till I got to college. It's kind of like a fraternity here. Like you know, you're from Miami, you stick with Miami. So my dad came up with this crazy idea that when school was out and I ran track, he's going to make me come and do morning track workouts and then go to my track practice in the afternoon. Mind you, I'm like 10, 11 years old. He's getting ready for the Junior Olympics, by the I way. I don't care. <laughs> Anthony was very, very good kid. He came to live with me when he was two years old. Um, and it was just me and him for a very long time. I was a former coach, so he was always traveling with me. He started, you know, watching film with me when he was like seven. Um, so he's breaking down film and I was the offensive coordinator here and he knew the offense when he was like nine. So guys out there asking him what, what's, what route they should run because <laughs> he knew it already. We've just always been together. I just wanted to make sure that you know, he, you know, didn't have any pitfalls. I just wanted to make sure he always just kind of stayed on track. Growing up in, in Miami, you know, you can have those tough, tough areas and, uh, you know, you have peer pressure. So I just wanted to make sure that, you know, as he grew up, that we had that bond and that closeness that if he ever ran into a hardship, that he could say, you know, hey, Dad, this is what happened. Mm, I know the Booker T catchers over here. Mm -hmm. That was the first play of the game. We drew it up together. <laughs> we actually sat there and we were like, this play is going, going to work. work. <laughs> we think a lot alike. Like, it's so crazy. Like, you know, a lot of my friends, they'd be like, you and your dad don't disagree on anything. And I'm like, I mean, not really. It's that respect factor of father and son. I think he probably said it best. We talk like brothers and he, you know, has the respect for father and son. You know, I'll go home and be like, you know, dad, 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 and I get on the field, I'll be like, dad, like, <laughs> he'd be like, you can call me dad on the field, but like, he never was like, you know, don't call me, you know, dad on the field. Or whether I need, uh, you know, that tough love, you know, whether I need, uh, hey man, you know, that's fine, you'll get him next time, I love you, whatever it is, you know, he's there for me. I knew the academic trail would get him to wherever he wanted to be. I mean, that's since I was younger, you know, I'm talking about just all academics, just you don't have your grades, you're not going to be able to play. The main goal, and I used to tell him all the time, hey dude, I need you to get a scholarship. Dad doesn't have much money. The kids from Miami typically wanted to go to the University of Miami. Once we noticed that it may not present itself, uh, Northwestern came in and did a great job of recruiting him. As a dad, as a parent, you want the best for your kids. When I watched him at Northwestern, that's when I really was like, man, like, I wasn't expecting this. Anthony Walker Jr. Walker's got it. Thrown down behind the line by Anthony Walker Jr. I think he's in the best situation. And it was like a perfect fit. You know, Northwestern loved me. I love Northwestern back. It intercepted the Anthony Walker Jr. Always. Anthony Walker, you need your All-American to make a play, and Walker did just that. My dad kind of instilling that into me, though, like, dude, you got to get out your Miami shell. He was able to get away from home, and then he's also getting, you know, one of the best academic institutions in America. I know he was a good football player, but I, all the, you know, accomplishments after high school has just been, you know, a blessing. I think me leaving here to go to Northwestern really helped me. Well, I told my dad, like, if you would have asked me six, seven years ago, like, would you be playing in the NFL? For me to be playing, living the dream, starting NFL games and stuff like that, yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you that. All right. Whether I was a good football player or not, like I used to always tell him, like, did you really think I was going to be good? Because he's like, my, in my dad's eyes, like, you're the best football player ever. Like, I'm like, like, dad, come on now. 
I think that's the number one thing you can give a child, like when you believe in them and you know, you give them that ultimate confidence, like, you know, that you can really do it, then I think, you know, that kind of just propelled me. I see so many guys grow up without that father figure and, you know, it's, uh, it's tough. You know, they grow up and, you know, you, they, the only thing that they're missing is that male guidance. Especially coming out of Miami, Florida, uh, you, we've seen so many kids that have so much ability, uh, but for whatever reason, they, you know, it never gets to the final phase. Um, so that was, that was one of the things we always talked about that, you know, don't let that be, you know, the downfall, you know, poor attitude or, you know, bad personality or anything not coachable, things like that. I think having that dad figure really is very unique and very much needed. <laughs> it's so good to see, yeah, to see you. As well. oh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> the people here at Pace, they love Anthony in general, whether good or bad or indifferent. I knew once he came back, you know, they was going to show him and spread the love to him. Just to give you a little example of his high school career. He was in the class of 2013, graduated top 10% in his class with a 4.7 GPA. So, please don't tell me about that dumb jocks anymore, okay? This young man has done some remarkable things, and not just athletically, but I'm talking about as a human being, as a person, what he's done in the community. Great young man, but I'll tell you what, when he put the strap on the chin strap, bad boy. Yeah, boy. Nasty. Let's bring out the man of the hour, Anthony Waters. I appreciate all the love and support, you know, that I get from my Pace family, number one. It's definitely been a process, you know, coming from, you know, from Miami to my senior Pace to Northwestern to the Colts. So I got to thank Mr. Anthony Walker, senior over there. All the hard work, all the sacrifices, all the dedication he made to me. I can't even get the words out, you know, of what he means to me, everything that he's done for me. I definitely appreciate you and love you more than you'll ever know, just so you know. <laughs> just, just a blessing, just the overall journey of it all. We just have so much fun together. We just have a great bond, very proud of him. You know, I definitely don't know where I'd be without him. Want to take your X-Fi to the next level? Now you can. Get enhanced performance and protection with X-Fi Vantage. Plus, enjoy as much high-speed Wi-Fi as you like with unlimited data. That's X-Fi Vantage. The best Wi-Fi just got even better. Upgrade today. Call, click, or visit a store.